so it's a new year it's a new show it's gonna be to be different now I think uh, I took you know a couple months uh, you know I didn't want to be stuck to this and be you know what is if what is the word of uh, being trapped in my own uh, uh, hobby as you know right now as what it is and I do want to make more videos I do want this to become even more but I'm a very lazy person you know as you can tell I'm a very lazy person and I don't like doing the work because I already have another job and then this ha is another job so it's just like adds more so it's cool it's kind of like adding more stress but also I'm making it you know I'm doing it to myself which is stupid like why am I stressing myself out like forcibly making these videos when I can you know make it easy for me and do the things that I like right so now I'm going to try to do the things that I like and what I like <laughs> I'm a very po complicated person you know and what I like is very basic is doing nothing and I can't you can't not just not do nothing so I'm going to do something right and do like kind of a bare minimum and uh, do these little videos and try to see how it goes for, for a couple months and uh, see if you know I can evolve change and uh you know eventually prosper you know and start you know start start back you know you know ignite the the, the car the train or whatever and keep keep it going you know instead of like going and then stopping and then going and then stopping and then you know and then i'm you know i'm also like it's also like mental stuff so it's like I eventually get lazy and then I stop doing it, I procrastinate, right? And so it becomes a bigger issue and uh, I don't want it to become a bigger issue. It's my own issue, right? And it's an, it's an internal issue and it's me fighting myself and trying to get myself to do it and, you know, not lying to myself because I do like doing this. It's just that it's a big process to do this thing. It's like record, you know, think about what you're going to do, think what you're going to say and uh, be a little smart about it, right? Clean and um figure shit out and i'm still gonna do these other videos that i have you know if you guys ever check out my channel i have other stuff and uh you know and it, it also requires like a certain mood to do that or like a certain energy so for me to do those videos i have to be energetic i have to be fun i have to be in a good mood uh, funny you know and uh find a way to um you know make it make it fun for me and for you guys you know I want I'm a people pleaser so I want to please you guys I want to please my please myself in pleasing you guys and making videos that'll be fun for me so yeah so it's a it's a new year it's a, it's a, gonna be a couple new videos coming out I'm gonna just try to do hectology at the you know you know daily at least once a week on minimal whatever I can maybe 30 15 minutes at most I'm not gonna try to do a whole hour because if it's a whole hour it's probably better if I would have a whole like a guest or whatever and uh, you know conversate because if I just do this by myself for a whole I'm gonna get tired I'm gonna get you know my I'm gonna blow my voice out you know just talking to myself in this room but uh, you know so it's a new year it's a new year and it's for me <laughs> Last year it sucked a little bit, you know, for the last past two years being in this pandemic sucks, you know, and, you know, uh, just being being cautious out there and trying not to catch a, you know, a new strain or whatever, or, you know, whatever it is, uh, or not even a strain or, or you know, a Rona strain, it could be a, with a cold, because, like, I had a fucking, I had the cold for a bit, and, uh, I... You know, I think it was like on a Tuesday of like last month, like it, like I just started to get chills and like immediately hopped in my, my, my bed and um, got a fever, you know, and uh, and then after like the, the second day, like uh, my whole body was strained. So like, uh, and then I, the third day it was just like, um, just like, you know, like, uh, uh, like chest like um wheezing you know from coughing a lot and and uh and and uh you know the throat you know dryness and stuff so 
And then the, the fourth day, it was, you know, I was picking up, you know, I'm sorry, recover better and, you know, you know, just be active uh, as, uh, as, as best as I can, you know, still trying to recover from the cold and stuff. So, yeah, don't get a cold, guys, or, you know, uh, take your medicine and uh, take your liquids and drink some Gatorade, right? Drink some Gatorade and get yourself healthy and, um, and uh, you know, uh, healthy, basically. All you need is health. I need health. Everybody needs health. You need to be at your, 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 your what is it, what they call it? Your tippy toes, you know? So, so it's a new year. And I'm going to still be talking about movies. Because I love watching movies or TV shows. And that's what I do the most, right? So I'm going to talk about that. This week and the last week, I've been watching Boba Fett. Um, you know, <laughs> I thought Boba Fett died. I thought he, you know, I'm, I'm not actually like a big fan. Like I wasn't the biggest fan of Star Wars, like when it when it started to come out, or before that, you know, because I don't think I was even born back then. Well, when it was made, like what it was like in the '80s or something. So, you know, I got I got into it probably probably like two years ago like two or three years ago like watching the whole all the movies even the old ones and stuff um and to watching now like the mandalorian and what's the and the and the, and the and boba fett all right so so yeah and boba fett i mean i like it i i enjoyed the first episode shows how i think the first episode shows how like he got like he was able to get out of the 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 beast that he got in you know got swallowed in so swallowed by right and he was managed to get out and uh and then how he 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 managed to survive second episode um and because it's also like still talks about the him being you know he's being i guess like rescued by the what are they called the tuscan raiders right I'm doing everything out of memory right now. I didn't write this down. I just put. I just wrote down the book of Boba Fett and try to. I'm trying to remember what what happened. So yeah, in that book of Boba Fett, I think the tribes cat. You know, they they become his friend. He kills this beast for them. They gain the the respect. Uh, he gains uh their respect, right? Boba gains the respect for helping out this this youngling, whatever they call him, right? These the youngling uh, Tuscan. Uh, Raider, um, I mean, Tuscan Raiders look weird, you know. You you don't know what they actually look like from you know. They're always wearing a mask and stuff. Um, what else? Oh yeah, and then they they teach them how to fight. They teach them how to fight their way, like with the stick and stuff. And uh, he teaches them. Um, how to uh, ride uh, those hover hover bikes? I think they're they're hover bikes, right? They don't have wheels; they just hover, and uh, they uh, they they take down um, this uh, run. Uh, it's not a runaway train; it's like a hovering train, right? And because every time they pass by, they 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 just start shooting at the Tuscan the Tuscan. I mean, they're not even raiders at this point. They're just tr the Tuscan tribes, I would say. Tus yeah, the Tuscan tribes is probably even better because they were not—they're not really raiding un until like they actually do wind up raiding the train that they—they—they they, they actually manage to steal. But mo you know, they—they kind of go deeper into you know what what is what it is being a Tuscan uh, person or whatever, right? <laughs> so yeah, I enjoyed the. And then you also oh yeah I forgot you also saw like the uh, a Wookie that's like black what a black Wookie never seen that before thought they were all brown so look it was a fun it's a fun show I I see a lot of, like a lot of people commenting like on the Instagram of, of you know the show like oh it should kind of suck I'm like man you're fucking people are trash they, they just always want to talk shit about a good show you know always some haters out there. But it was a fun show, man. I loved it. I'm going to watch the third episode. 
whenever it comes out. I really like the character of Boba Fett. He's a badass. Love the you know the suit and stuff. So, but keep watching it. Then we got another one. This is a movie I saw like maybe on Wednesday or something, and it's called the uh, For the Sake of Vicious. And this one was very brutal, and also very um, you know you get stuck to the TV by watching this movie. You just you stay there and you watch all the violence happen. It's like almost like a hostile movie. If you ever seen hostile, it's like very like close up and boom brutal and stuff. And this one kind of involves like um this um it's a pretty dark uh, uh film. I'm not gonna try to give you too much away. It's like um you know the the pretty much it's like a a, a father. He he like uh. It's kind of hard to explain a little bit. It's like um, the the father of this kid that got R-worded. Um, like he manages to you know beat up the guy that you know allegedly did it, and he's trying to get him to say he actually did it because he says that he got away with it. And he also gets his like nurse involved, and there's like uh, you know, and then there's this other like other stuff going on because of the guys like uh the guy that supposedly r worded his daughter is also like working with these shady guys so uh it's a pretty fun movie and also very uh twisted so you know it's pretty it's pretty good i i got i got to recommend it re recommend it to you it's called the sake of uh, vicious for the sake of vicious i want to had to write down the name cuz it's a mouthful uh, and then the third one I saw, it was called um, Dark Shadows. I think I've seen this one before, but I think the first time I saw it, I just, uh, I didn't like it that much. I still don't like it that much, you know. It's just kind of a, just a, it's kind of a plain movie. It's like, yeah, like, they got, it's got Johnny Depp and, what's her name, Ava Green and uh, Hit, uh, Kick, Kick-Ass, the girl from Kick-Ass, what's her name, Chloe. Hit girl, right? That's her name. Um, and uh, you know, it's it's like a, it's about like this. Uh, Johnny Depp plays this vampire, who, or he he's like this guy who got cursed into turning into a vampire by this witch, who it was who was madly in love with him, and she can't spare to have anybody else love uh, Johnny Depp's character, so. She winds up like cursing him into becoming a vampire, you know, in you know, which in that case he lives forever and she gets to keep him forever for herself. And you know, and then and then uh, so like Johnny's character, he um he come like they uh they kind of uh they undig him, you know, these uh these uh construction workers un undig him and you know what, what what does a hungry vampire do he slaughters them right he's hungry so yeah and then it's a, it's a kind of a dark comedy movie so uh you know it's a good recommend for a little you know a little fun uh comedy a little dark comedy i don't usually like watch a lot of comedies that are uh they're not a lot of like very much like a lot of vampire comedy movies like this so like yeah, keep an eye on that. Watch that. Um, it's a fun little movie. It's not the best movie, but it's just a fun little movie, you know. It's got Johnny Depp. Who doesn't want to see Johnny Depp being a vampire? Uh, all right, guys. That's what I got. <laughs> that's what I got today. I mean, I haven't done these videos in a long time. I kind of felt like I lost my little rhythm for a bit. So uh, hopefully, I try to do this, another video. You know tomorrow and just try to catch up you know and keep them keep them in a bulk and then release them after so thank you guys for watching and you know comment like please comment down whatever you want just no spam or nothing like that because i hate that shit lates